Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the video. Welcome to my garage. This video I'm going to do just on me storing the trailer up in the ceiling of my garage. This is something that I've been working on for a couple of months now. And now that it's done, since it was kind of such a big project, I want to do a video where I just kind of show you guys what it is and how it works because if you're watching some of my other videos, you're occasionally probably going to see this trailer hanging from the ceiling and you're probably going to have some questions about it. Now this garage itself is pretty robust. All Both the walls, this wall and this wall, are made up of doubled up 2x6s, so it's pretty stout to begin with. But then I ran doubled up 2x12s up to tripled up 2x12s that run across to carry a load of this trailer. And although this trailer is steel, it's not crazy heavy. My guess would be it weighs less than 900 pounds. So hanging 900 pounds from these two beams is really not that heavy of a load for those two beams. And then where I connected to here, I didn't want to have any beams coming down just in the middle of the garage. So I ran doubled up 2x12s over here, doubled up 2x12s here, and then I made this truss that goes across them and then supports those 2x12s. So if you see the trailer up here and you think, how the heck does this psychopath comfortably work underneath a trailer hanging from the ceiling. Well, here's what I did. Once the trailer's up there, it hangs by chains on all four corners. And it also has three winches that draw it up there. And the winches are still connected. They've been relaxed, but they're still connected. So having the three winches and four chains connected up there, once it's up in position, I'm actually very, very confident that it's not gonna go anywhere. And of course, originally I was a little nervous as to whether those beams would be strong enough to carry it, but now that I've had the trailer up there for, for three weeks solid, they when you pick it up, those beams don't even creak, they don't sag, they're, they're carrying that weight like, like they're not even carrying anything. So at this point, I'm real comfortable with having it up there. Now I will say that when you raise it and lower it, that is the dangerous portion, because what I do is I pick the trailer up a little bit, I take off all four chains, and then I have to lower it. And at that point, it is only dangling by the three winches. If something went wrong at that point, that would be pretty catastrophic because it would drop it right down to the ground. But in order to make that as safe as possible, I took the, uh, the remotes that come with these three winches and I extended them all the way down to here. So here's my three up and down buttons for the hoists. So I can actually stand back here so I'm not directly underneath the trailer and I can operate all three winches and I can raise it and lower it from over here. Not that that makes the raising and lowering portion any safer but at least I'm off to the side and back here so that if something does go wrong it's not going to land and crush me. It's going to cause destruction over here but it's not going to kill me. And then once it's down obviously it's totally safe and then whenever I have it up there I get the ladder out and I connect those four chains and then I relax it back onto the chains and it's quite safe at that point. Now I've run around and I've disconnected the four chains that hold it up there. So right now it's just hanging off of the winches and although it is a little bit of a nuisance, I'm not going to lie to you, running around with that ladder and disconnecting it from those four points, but I would not be comfortable with this hanging up here all the time just off of the winches. That doesn't seem that safe to me. Like right now, it makes me a little bit nervous because it's just hanging off the winches, but you know, I don't know, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. It's not really that often that I use this trailer, so it's not really all that often that I need to get it up and get it down. I did want to make something automatic that would grab a hold of the trailer once it's up there and I still might do that but I'm you know I'm just going to use it a couple times like this first make sure that this is what I like and if I do then I'll maybe make something a little bit more automatic other than just the chains but either way now that it's free hanging there I'm just going to go to the switches here and I'm just going to lower it bit by bit until it's all the way down to the ground here.
So there you have it. I did go around when I was setting this up and I welded a, a lifting point for each of the three winches so that I didn't want to have any straps or any additional failure points. So you just walk up to the trailer, you clip it or unclip it. They're not the highest quality winches in the world. I got them from Harbor Freight, but I did take them apart, do a little bit of inspections on them, tighten down the wiring, took a look at things. They're actually not that bad. They're made out of grade eight hardware and uh, nothing on them was too terrifying. I am running the pulley on there on all four corners and, and as you saw, it only takes about a minute, maybe even a little bit less to actually raise it or lower it. So it's not too bad. And each of those winches is rated at 880 pounds. And like I said, I don't even think the trailer itself weighs 900 pounds. So all three winches working together, the load on them really, I mean, they're just kind of farting along when they lift it up. But at this point, I would unclip it. All I had to do with maulers, just push them back. There is room for ratchet, mauler, and bajaller is actually what I call the trailer because it's a Baja hauler. So there's room for ratchet, mauler, and bajaller all here together, but obviously bajaller here just takes up a lot of space. That's why I made the, the system to store him up there when I need to. So then once I have it up there and I have the chains connected, then I just relax it a little bit so that it releases the tension on the winches and hangs from the chains. So now it's hanging up there and all three winches are connected but it's actually suspended off of the chains which are wrapped around those beams. So if something went wrong with the chains, which would be very rare, but if they did, it has a secondary support of the winches. So when it's up there hanging like that, I'm actually, I'm confident enough to work underneath it. And at that point, I consider it a, a pretty safe structure. It's just, Raising it and lowering it is dicey, and it's really not, it's not too dicey. I mean, the winches do it no problem. I can run all three winches at the same time. There's no straining, but it gets a little bit unnerving when the cables are kind of crunching over each other and, you know, all that stuff. So it's a little, a little nerve wracking, but it's not, it's not terrible. And like I said, I don't pull this trailer down on a regular basis. So, so far I have uh, really loved the space that it gives me. So. I'm going to keep storing it up there and just see what happens. So that's it for this video guys. I just wanted to give you a rundown of the lift for the trailer. I'd been working on that for months. It was one of my original plans when I moved into this garage because I knew I wanted a trailer, but I knew that I didn't want to store it outside, which I can't here because of my homeowners association anyway. But I knew I didn't want to have a trailer just sitting on the ground there taking up all the space. 
You've seen in a lot of my videos where Mauler is just sitting on top of the trailer. That worked temporarily, but I didn't want that to be my permanent solution. So all along, I was slowly working on this lift to get the trailer up to the ceiling. I'm real happy with it. I'll probably make the uh, mechanism a little bit better later on to store it up there. But for now, I'm, uh, I'm real comfortable with the chains. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys like it, and I hope to see you on the next video. Take care.